you don't want to watch me pilot the new... Oh. <laughs> Howdy y'all and welcome to Tall Tales. I'm your host Harrison and welcome to Night Vale. <laughs> So hey y'all, you might have seen in our previous video or it may be coming out later. Time is weird on Tall Tales, just like it's weird in Night Vale. We had done a video, or maybe we will be doing a video, on our TBR list for this year. And on that list is this book, the one that we're discussing today, Welcome to Night Vale, a novel. Now, some of you may be familiar with the podcast, which is absolutely amazing. So with this book, we're going to be starting something new on our channel. We're calling it Bite Size Book Reviews. We're trying to bring you a comprehensive review of the book, something to get you engaged, possibly make you want to read the book yourself, and do it in the smallest amount of time, preferably under five minutes. So this book is really wonderful. One of the things I really love about it is the familiarity of the characters. Of course you've got Cecil Baldwin, our radio host, and his lovely boyfriend Carlos, the scientist, and of course the angels, but angels do not exist, don't forget. Of course with familiar characters, we can't forget about the man in the tan jacket, the mysterious man in the tan jacket with the deerskin suitcase that's always buzzing for some reason. Of course, this isn't to say that the book is exclusively for those who are familiar with the podcast. One of the things I also really love about this book is the accessibility. Just like the podcast itself, Welcome to Night Vale, the novel, is one of those kind of experiences where you can just jump in at any point. It does reward those who have listened to the podcast previously. You get kind of a warmth from recognizing the characters. However, the story itself doesn't rely heavily on the podcast, which is definitely a big plus in my opinion. So I will warn you all, I'm going to give mild spoilers for this book. I'm going to try my best not to put too many into it, but I think it's a big thing that has to be discussed in this book, and that is the metaphors. It's very much so a coming of age story, but also a coming to terms with age story in a way. We have, for example, Jackie Farrow, who is the 19 year old pawn shop owner who never seems to age, even though her friends have reached their middle age. And I find that extremely fascinating. And as we continue, you see that's kind of reflective of what's called the quarter life crisis. This feeling of being stuck in stasis, not really knowing where you want your life to go and the monotony of everyday life makes it feel like you're not progressing. And then of course, there's also Josh, who is a boy who takes on many forms. I find this really interesting because Josh is going through puberty. The fact that he literally changes from, say, a humanoid form to a tarantula wearing sunglasses trying to drive and learn how to drive. That's actually in the book. It's very much so an interesting way to reflect reality. Most of us who have gone through puberty understand that it is a difficult time where our bodies are constantly changing and our sense of self is evolving as well. I won't give anything else away, although I really want to because this book has reignited my passion for reading which has been kind of stagnant lately. It's also made me very curious to get back into the Welcome to Night Vale podcast. I would say that this book really appeals to those who enjoy the bazaar. If you're, say, a fan of Neil Gaiman's Neverwhere or Anansi Boys, I think this book would definitely appeal to you. Overall, if I have to give a quantitative review, I would say that Welcome to Night Vale, the novel, gets five city council members out of five. Okay guys, so that was our first ever Bite Size book review. As always, don't forget to follow us on social media. We are on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest. As Rose mentioned before, we're not super active on them, but if people seem interested, we might get more back into it. Also, don't forget to drop us a like and leave us a comment. Let us know if you really enjoy Welcome to Night Bell as well. Don't forget to subscribe, and as always, stay snazzy, friends. Well, I'm done. 
So some of y'all may have noticed that we have a new friend on the bookshelf. His name is Chadwick. We're nerdy in very many ways. How do I turn it off? 